welcome back. It's time now for another medical moment. Today we're talking about the Covenant Structural Heart Program and the heart technology known as Watchman. So with me here today is Debbie Best, a clinical nurse specialist from Covenant Healthcare. Debbie, thanks so much uh, for joining me today. Yes. I really appreciate it. So um, first of all, you have an example of this uh, that you brought with you, but what does the Watchman do? The Watchman is actually a device that is for patients that have atrial fib that's not valve related. And what it does is you have what we call a left atrial appendage right here. Mm -hmm. And what happens is when your heart is in atrial fib, it just flutters. It doesn't really contract and blood coagulates in here. Okay. And then this clot can go out and cause a stroke. So 90% of your strokes are caused because of this. Right. So if we can take a device, and the Watchman device looks just like this. Okay and it fits right inside of here and blocks it off. Okay. And then that way you can actually be taken off your Coumadin medication. Um, you can live more of a normal life. Now what, you know, who is this for? Is there a specific case? Is it just, you know, AFib or who qualifies for something like this? Patients that qualify are patients that are in atrial fib, non-valve related, and they have a problem taking their Coumadin or aspirin or Plavix, any of those anticoagulant type of medications. Okay. And the reason they have problems is they have GI bleeds or else they um, have a habit of falling down and then you bruise and so you have all those risks. But those patients, they can be uh, evaluated, making sure there's no clots or anything there, and then the device can be placed. Now, you know, what are the benefits of something like this device? Is, is it, does it last forever? How does, I mean, is the surgery invasive? I guess things like that. This procedure is done just like a cardiac cath. Um, they go in through the groin. They actually have the septum between the right and left side of the heart. They cross sure. that, and then it goes in. It stays for the rest of their life. Okay. So it's a little, small device. It is made of um, a nickel and titanium. It, so if they have any allergic to nickel, they wouldn't be able to use it. Okay. This device, we've done about 60 of them. We've had a couple of patients that haven't been able to have it because you have to have a certain depth, and sure. they have to have what we call um, walls to be able to anchor it to. Okay. And if you don't have any of those, then you wouldn't be a candidate. But that's where a TEE, a transesophageal echocardiogram, would come into play and we can see what your measurements are. Are there any risks to something like the Watchman for patients? There's always risk. Mm -hmm. um, some of the risks are you can end up having a bleed, just like any time you have a cardiac cath, you can have a bleed, hematoma. You can end up with a stroke because when you start going in through your vessels, you can break a clot that, or something that might right. be there. Um, once it's in, there really is not much of a risk to it. It should not move. They do what they call a pull test and make sure that it's there and tight enough. The advantages of this are that they don't have to be on medication. They don't have mm -hmm. to be on the Coumadin. They don't have to watch what they right. eat because the Coumadin, green leafy vegetables, getting lab work all the time, they can live a healthier life. If you have patients who go out and um, do uh, motorcycle riding or anything mm -hmm. like that, they can't do a lot of that because if they fall, if they hurt, they cut, sure. whatever, this way they can do it. Wonderful. Debbie, thank you so much uh, for joining us today. Um, and if you have any questions, uh, you can uh, give Covenant a call, 989-583-7171. Of course, uh, that is their number to learn more about the Structural Heart Disease Program at Covenant Center for the Heart. Debbie, thanks again.